My name is Zach Mercer, England 20s. Growing up in Scotland, but actually being born in Leeds and then uh, moving up there with the family due to my dad's uh, career, now I'm really excited to put the England rules on and it's a massive honour to put a white shirt on and look, I've had the experience to do that and hopefully can keep pushing on now. My dad, uh, Gary Mercer, 22 caps for uh, New Zealand Rugby League and uh, moved over to England when he was younger to play professional rugby league for Leeds Rhinos and he's the first person I ring after games, the first person I speak to and you always get some feedback from coaches but it's not 100% honest whereas from my dad and the, my family it's 100% honest and he, he encouraged me to be the best rugby player I can be on and off the field. I'm definitely uh, English, I was yeah, born, in, born in Leeds and half Kiwi and I'd probably say 50% English, 50% New Zealand and uh, an eighth Maori, uh, so that's me. <laughs> I signed for Bath after playing an under-18s game and yeah, I'm, I'm loving my time down there. I signed two years but I've just re-signed this year. Really looking forward to what the scene's got to bring. I've been lucky this year with injury-wise on, for example, Toby Fowler and David Denton first game of the season getting injured and all I did was try and take that opportunity and uh, I tried to prove Todd Black and Tobias Matson that I want to be playing first team rugby week in, week out and hopefully I did that and I'm, I'm really happy with where I am and I'm really happy to be there for another two years. You always get an opportunity and it's whether you take it or not and I was extremely privileged to take it and to play uh, 12 Premiership games at such a young age, I feel like it's put me in good stead for the 20s World Cup that hopefully I can bring something maybe I didn't bring last year was a bit of experience and hopefully the boys can come looking to me if they need any, need any help on that. I was uh, hugely honoured to be nominated for the, the RPA Young Player of the Year, which I managed to push on and win, which was a massive surprise to me and uh, I'm really proud of that award and it's the trophy sat up on my fireplace and good stead because I think it shows something that I've worked on all year to try and get that and to get the opportunity to, to win it, I'm over the moon. Um, I was obviously against tough competitors, which makes it even more special. Uh, the likes of Ellis Gens, Ross Moriarty, Ali Sazowski, Joe March and, and to come out on top against them, uh, it's, it's a massive achievement. My inspirations you probably put there is Kieran Reid, obviously growing up there as a young kid and seeing Kieran Reid playing for the All Blacks and his offloading ability and his ball carrying is he's probably the best I've ever seen and I, I want to mirror him, I want to be, I want to uh, be emulate him, I want to I want to go on the rugby pitch and people think, oh look, he's, he's doing what, like, what exactly Kieran Reid does and that's what I want to be. Uh, obviously I want to have my own brand, I don't want to be just uh, recognised as being a Kieran Reid wannabe but I'm, not, I'm looking forward to learning by watching him in the, in the summer. The Six Nations was a massive achievement to win the Grand Slam was hugely proud for the boys and we all know that but we, we, we don't underestimate the challenge we've got in Georgia. We know teams have got to come for us, we're probably at the moment one of the favourites to win the competition but we're not even looking at that. England with their first try on the board, Mitchell breaks his tournament duck. Excellent work from the England forward pack, England are on the march. I don't think there's any added pressure on this group of lads. Every year it's a different team and that's the, the beauty of, of, of under 20s World Cups and we're here to create our own legacy effectively. We, we know what other teams have achieved but we're a brand new team, we, we've come together and we're excited to create our own uh, legacy and hopefully we take game by game and we'll see what happens. Obviously seeing uh, how influential role the 20s plays in the England senior setup. I mean, you look at the squad for Argentina, there's five of our boys that played in the Six Nations uh, having the opportunity to go and represent the England roles in a senior level. Um, but then you've also got the likes of the Joe March and Harry Mallinder that played last year. They want to be, play for England. It's everyone's dream in our 20s team to go and play for England. And we can see it happen, you can see the vision, and you can see the, you can see the, the ladders building up to that, and you, everyone's excited to take the first step of it. I've spoken to Eddie Jones regarding uh, Argentina. He's told me what I need to work on and it does inspire me. I, I want to prove him wrong in a good way effectively. Um, I want to I show him what I've worked on and I'm really excited that and hope he'll be watching him, which I'm sure he will be. Obviously everyone's aspirations to push on for England and I hope in the upcoming years that will happen, but I know it's not going to just happen like that. It's going to be one of the things that it's going to be slow, but I've got to work hard for. It's not going to be just there for me to take and I've got to prove to Eddie Jones why I want to go and talk. They're going to be watching and they're going to see the form that I've done in the Premiership and hopefully bring that to the World Cup.